Hey everyone, I'm Nautica De La Cruz for Inside Long Beach. I'm here on Long Beach Boulevard on the corner of Delamo. And if you look behind, stretching seven blocks south to 56th Street, I'm standing near what is better known in the community as Virginia Village. This area has been undergoing all sorts of renovations and improvements thanks to the RDA. So join me now as we meet just one of the neighborhood business owners. The changes that I have seen have been tremendous. When we first took over the restaurant, of course, the neighborhood has changed. And you're not just from uh, financially, the economy and everything has gone up different directions, but also just the people moving in and moving out. That I think in the, from the last five, six years, we've definitely seen some great, great improvements. The city's taken this whole development in the right direction, and I'm very excited about it. You know, the RDA is always making these amazing improvements in the city of Long Beach, and especially Long Beach Boulevard. Here to talk about them is from the RDA, Elvia Delgadillo. Elvia, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Elvia, tell me a little bit about Virginia Village. Virginia Village is an area comprised of seven commercial blocks from 53rd Street to 55th Street. It was originally Virginia City, which was annexed by the city of Long Beach in 1924. Presently, it's a very vibrant, pedestrian-oriented commercial corridor that has approximately 50 businesses that serve the local area. I know Long Beach Boulevard has a lot of history to it. What are the improvements that are going to be made? Well, we have a major streetscape project along Long Beach Boulevard between Del Amo and 56th Street. One of the major things is the street will be completely reconstructed from Del Amo to 56th. Also, uh, there will be new sidewalks, so the sidewalks will be replaced. They're very old. We're also going to include street trees, uh, street lighting, and pedestrian lighting that will be historic in nature, in addition to bus shelters. We have a couple of murals planned. We're also going to have bicycle racks for people that are on bikes. And so there's just a lot of uh, energy that's being brought in by the RDA to really do something about improving this wonderful area. So how do you think this is going to impact the area? I think the project is going to provide an economic vitality that this area hasn't seen in many, many years. And it'll also provide for traffic calming, which means as it's a dry, as the cars drive by, they'll be more aware of the businesses that serve this area. And it's just going to give the area a completely different feel. So when is construction going to be completed? The work on the streetscape project will be completed. Uh, late summer of 2011, as will the two murals and the parking lot and the paseo and hopefully some new facades. Well, Elvia, I am so appreciative of you taking the time to tell me everything that's going on on Long Beach Boulevard and thank you so very much. You're very welcome, Nautica, and the RDA is very excited about what's happening on the boulevard. New parking, bus shelters, medians, and art. That will certainly make this corridor a much more pedestrian-friendly area when it's completed. But as we all know, construction can be disrupting to the daily ebb and flow of a neighborhood, so we asked Will Dam, the construction company, to give us the scoop. Well, the impact to the community will be traffic will be restricted to one lane in each direction, northbound and southbound. So there will be times when the traffic will be impacted. There will definitely be some backups during the construction. So we're encouraging all the folks who live in the area to use alternate routes whenever possible. Although we still want you to visit the businesses, shop in the area. So it's obviously time to uh, upgrade the street section. That's what we're going to do. And also the sidewalks, the curb and gutter, that sort of thing, they need to be improved. There's obviously tripping hazards and that sort of thing. In addition to that, I think with the lighting and the landscaping and the bus shelters and some of the improvements that the city is going to make, it will definitely make it a much more pedestrian friendly and also a safer environment for families to come out and visit the boulevard at night. When the project's completed, it will be a much more business friendly, pedestrian friendly boulevard. And we're hoping to duplicate uh, the same thing that's been done in other areas of Long Beach, like Bixby Knolls and Belmont Shore, that sort of thing. Without the people's help in the city, the redevelopment of the Gadia and everybody involved, and the council members that we have here and their direct involvement with the neighborhood, and they really, their heartfelt 
feelings about what they do with the neighborhood. I don't think none of this would be possible. I think it's really a comment to the people and a great praise to all the people that work for the city of Long Beach and all the people that work with us to make this place what it is today. Well, you heard it here. The Virginia Village Streetscape Project is off and running. And to monitor the progress, the North Long Beach Project Area Committee will be meeting the fourth Thursday of every month. So come on out, get involved. Thank you for watching Inside Long Beach. I'm Nautica De La Cruz. See you next time. Cleaning, paying bills, cooking. These are just a few of the daily tasks that help transform a simple place to live into a great home. So wouldn't it be nice if someone could help us make these tasks not only easier, but also more affordable? Hi, I'm Nautica De La Cruz, and in this story, we're going to find out about a new, unique program that the Long Beach Housing Development Company is sponsoring to share information and resources with the residents throughout Long Beach. So come along. First stop, our health department. Early one morning, a group of service coordinators for the Long Beach Housing Development Company assisted affordable housing developments and attended a seminar to learn about cleaning products that are not only non-toxic, but also inexpensive. I didn't know that hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide could clean um, stains in the carpet, especially red stains. So that was a new thing. A Murphy's oil soap could, you know, last you months, even to a year, because you only need a cap. Again, we go over the recipes in, in the workshops and we teach the community on how to use those items together because they're more effective. A, a bottle of vinegar that you can get at um, Smart and Final, that's actually going to last you longer than getting a Windex from a store that's even on sale is $2. But your, you know, big bottle of vinegar can last you, again, months, even a year, depending on how often you clean. Empowered with this information, the next task is for each of these individual service providers to schedule a presentation at their own facility and get their residents to attend, thereby reaching out to thousands of residents with this vital information, plus creating win-win relationships and alliances with other city resources and agencies. This is great, just to be able to bring that knowledge back to my other properties. We could do a lot of good, we can help a lot of folks, and again, we're targeting low-income children and a really making an impact. The bottom line is always uh, keeping the community healthy and, 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 and improving their quality of life. So this is a, a natural uh, partnership for us with, with the Housing uh, Development Corporation. We've already scheduled the two um, Long Beach properties for the health department to come. Um, and then I spoke with the lady from the health department. I'm going to see if she can actually come to our staff development meeting, which is all of the property managers and assistant managers. So that way she can train them and they can then bring it back to their communities because they're not in Long Beach. Every month, a new workshop and speaker are brought before the group. And while the topic may vary, the outcome is always the same. Enhancing the quality of life for residents, here are just a few of the latest speakers. I represent the Energy Management Program, which is sponsored by Southern California Edison, and it's designed to help residents conserve energy and to reduce their energy costs. We're here today to give the residents here at this location information about what to do in an earthquake and how to prepare for an earthquake before it happens. It's called the Treasure Box. Uh, we partnered with a, a company called Good Source Solutions, who does business under the name of the Treasure Box and they put together frozen food boxes of various kinds to provide for the community for $30 a box. Uh, first, I wanted to really uh, get together here in the meeting and, and uh, meet other services coordinators and network. Network uh, so that I get to know all the service providers in Long Beach and what they do and, and bring that information back to our residents. 
This program, aptly called the Alliance for Making Connections, is just one of the innovative strategies the Long Beach Housing Development Company is spearheading to ensure we truly have quality, affordable housing for all. And the response to date has been great. It's extremely beneficial for property managers such as myself that have that want to be able to provide a, a large ver a variety of resources here. So we group together and collaborate and come up with great ideas to help overcome uh, issues that one may have, such as what I would have here in transitional housing. You know, I work with so many uh, communities in the past, uh, you know, throughout the years that I've been, uh, uh, you know, in the social service field. And I believe that Long Beach has an array and a mosaic and abundance of resources for homeless people, low-income families, and uh, children. And I just believe that Long Beach is doing a wonderful thing. It's really, you know, uh, a mecca here of social services and resources for people. A mecca of resources. Well, that says it all. That is exactly what this Alliance for Making Connections is all about. To find out more about this and other affordable housing programs and services, visit lbhdc.org. Hello everybody, I'm Farouk Tahid, hanging out here with this beautiful young lady at the studio of Long Beach public artist, Terry Bronstein. Thanks to the sponsorship of the Long Beach Redevelopment Agency, one of Terry's latest sculptures is permanently on display at 2400 Artesia Boulevard. And to find out more about this beautiful piece of art and how it was created, we asked Terry, who lives and works right here in Long Beach, to join us. All right, Terry, so tell me a little bit about your sculpture. Uh, you know, what, what, what's, what's the story behind it? Well, whenever I work on public art, I always come to the area and try and get a feel for it. My feeling as a, as a public artist is that I always want the work to be site-specific. Because it's going, at, it, it is at the top end of, of Long Beach, what they call the top of the town, um, I wanted it to act as a kind of gateway. What they're building is a globe. And the globe is supposed to represent the diverse population that Long Beach has, and also the fact that the port is there, so that a lot of these manufactured goods go on to other places. Anything else in, the, in that location, in the community, that gave you uh, motivation for the piece? Well, just that um, the city itself was really came into its prime in the 30s and 40s, and so I wanted it to reflect that time period also, so that it's from that time period to the present. Who comes up with the idea? You know, how, how involved was the RDA? Tell me a little bit more about, you know, just how it all started. Well, this project uh, began in 2007. Uh, the RDA sent out a request for proposals for 13 different projects around the city, beautification projects. The RDA, the way that it works is that the city has a percent for public art program. And that percent means that whenever there's some kind of capital improvement that's done, that the people who are doing the improvement will give a percent to enhance the area with, with public art. The Redevelopment Agency works together with the Arts Council of Long Beach, and they put together panels that consist of the community, of art professionals, um, and of people that will make sure that the quality is high and that there's, um, it represents the community as well. In terms of the creative process, how does uh, something like public art differ than other artwork? Are there, are there the challenges, some of the benefits? Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, I've actually been a public artist for I think half as long as I've been an artist, so it's been about 15 years that I've been making public art. The challenges are that, of course, that when you work in your studio, you can do whatever you want. You are your own boss, completely 100%, and the work is done, and then it's either seen or not seen. With public art, you're a collaborator. You're, you collaborate with the community, you collaborate with the people who fabricate for you, you collaborate with the, the entities that, that give you the money, the commissioners, 
And so it's a, it's a very much of a different kind of work. And you, you, you have a responsibility to all of these other entities, not just to yourself as an artist. Okay, so we're here in your studio and I, I see all these pieces behind me. They look very, very small. It looks like you work with small stuff. So, but this piece that you made for us here for Long Beach, it's, it's huge. I mean, tell me about the materials. Where did you get the pieces for it? How did it all come together? Yes, well, that's, that's one of the other benefits of being a public artist, is that you get to work in materials and size that you would never ordinarily get to work in. And, and, and tell us, do you know exactly how big it is? Like, yes. tell me how, exactly how big it is. It's 14 feet high, at 14 feet from the, from the base, so it's probably about 16 feet in all. And it's made of stainless steel and uh, has, is, is, is Byzantine glass mosaic which uh, may seem fragile, but when it's put together, we, we know it lasts hundreds, thousands of years. Thank you so much, Terry. Your artwork is definitely beautifying our city and we appreciate you. No problem. Public art is an integral element to the revitalization of our city and RDA's commitment to beautifying the redevelopment project areas. But the question is, is, is it worth it? And does our community care? Well, let's find out. Public art is very important to any project area. What it does is it shows that the city is invested in the community. It shows the residents, the businesses, the people who pass through that the city cares about the community and wants to engage the community in the public process. Anytime that you can kind of tell a story with art or a picture or a painting, I think it, it's good for the people. It's good for the area. We notice now when you drive by the refinery, you look at the wall, you look at the art, and you don't even sort of look over the wall anymore. Anyway, we're just happy to be a part of this North Long Beach town. You know, our support to the petroleum company has been a, just a drop in the bucket compared to what they've given back to the community. Uh, projects like this, uh, I think in the long run, help the police department. Uh, you can't arrest your way out of problems. You have to have the community involvement, and uh, things like this give people more opportunity to take pride in their neighborhood. This sculpture is just one of the dozens of public art installations the RDA has completed and is now in the process of developing throughout Long Beach. To get a complete list, visit longbeachrda.org. For Inside Long Beach, I'm Farouk Tahi. We'll catch you next time. I'm Nautica De La Cruz, and today on Inside Long Beach, we're going shopping. One of my favorite things to do. But what are we shopping for? A house! And this very house right behind me is for sale. And I'm going to show you just how easy the city of Long Beach has made the home buying process. Well, good morning and welcome. Uh, this is a three bedroom, one bath house that the city of Long Beach purchased last year. The rehabilitation is complete and we're now ready to sell it to an income qualified household. I think it's great. It's beautiful. It's big and spacious and we have a family of four so I could see us living here. We really like the house. I liked it. I'm going to bring my, my wife back, actually, to look at it. it. It looks to me like they've spent a lot of money, you know, upgrading the house and remodeling it. It's really cool. Home ownership seems like an impossible dream for many households today. However, through the efforts of the City of Long Beach and the Long Beach Housing Development Company, this dream can be attainable. This is a great opportunity to have a chance to buy this house because this is an example of how the city of Long Beach produces affordable housing. And in this instance, the house will sell for about 300000 However, the buyer needs only get a loan for about $100,000. And we provide what's called a silent second or a gap loan to bridge the difference between the sales price 
and the buyer's mortgage. The reasons we call them silent is because the buyer makes no payments on the loan, therefore it's silent. And the loan is repaid to the city when the buyer sells the home. Through funding received from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's Neighborhood Stabilization Program, the City of Long Beach is revitalizing neighborhoods through the purchase and rehabilitation of vacant foreclosed homes. Sounds great, but how do I know if I'm eligible for one of these homes? First of all, if you are a first-time home buyer, if you live or work in Long Beach, and if your household income is no greater than 76000 approximately if you have a four-person household. Now, what about the rehabilitation process? Why do this? Well, like the name of the program states, renovating rundown properties removes blight and eyesores, and thus stabilizing neighborhoods. So let's take a look at some of the homes before they began the makeover process. Most of these homes will receive low E3 windows, updated kitchens and bathrooms, brand new interior and exterior paint, flooring, Energy Star appliances, tankless water heaters, new electrical and plumbing, drought tolerant landscaping and if necessary a brand new roof as you can see windows everywhere beautiful hardwood floors three bedrooms two car garage with laundry facilities tankless water heater we've also installed drought tolerant landscaping and sprinkler system you can see how this home went from drab to fab thanks to the city of long beach absolutely gorgeous and I say, Extreme Home Makeover has nothing on us. This property is ready for an open house and a new owner. So let's get some more info on how this whole program works so you can buy that house. Today, we're holding an opportunity drawing. And the way that works is interested buyers will come today. If they like the house, they will fill out what we call our golden ticket. When we'll hold a drawing, and the first person whose name is drawn gets the first opportunity to buy the house. If the first person decides they don't want the house, we will go to the next person and so on until we have a successful buyer. This is the fifth open house under the NSP program. And we currently have another six or seven homes in the rehabilitation process. Once they are complete, we will have more open houses and sell to more first-time home buyers. I tried the drawing. Uh, I recommend this to anybody that's interested in, in getting an affordable home here in Long Beach to check out the program with the city. Uh, I think it's a wonderful opportunity and, uh, you know, hopefully it'll work out for us. For those who don't think that it's possible to buy a home, it is possible because, uh, you know, the city has provided this program for those families like my family who um, don't don't th think of dreaming of owning our own home. This is awesome. Uh, I'm sure everyone who will be able to find out about this program will be able to just check it out and see it for themselves. If they really like it, they can be able to try it out themselves. I mean, there's, there's nothing, nothing to lose. Huh? So we just visited one of the many homes that are now available for sale through the incredible Neighborhood Stabilization Program. If you'd like more info on homes for sale in Long Beach, or if you'd like to attend an open house, visit the Long Beach Housing Development Company's website at lbhdc.org. And happy home shopping to all.